ikaibuka hakuna wa kufananisha na wewe mbingu za tangaza wema wako ardhi ya tangaza wema wako mimea inashifu mimea inashifu bahari bahari yainua jina lako kila kitu chenye pumzi kinamwabudu maana ni yeye tu anastahili wapi tu unastahili unastahili baba yangu unastahili baba yangu your name be lifted up your name be glorified your name be enthroned you are the lion of the tribe of Judah hey, when you say yes you would say no when you say yes you would say no you are the sun coming king you are He has beautiful names call him the beautiful names tell him you are Jehovah Jireh I have seen you provide for my family I have seen you provide for my children you are Jehovah Rapha I have seen you fight my battles I have seen you strengthening my hands for war I have seen you helping me bend the bow bronze because of your goodness kukushukuru niseme nini bwana ila nimekuja kutangaza wema wako na fadhili zako juu ya maisha yangu niseme nini bwana ila nikuabudu wewe uketie mahali palipoinuka uketie mahali palipoinuka second and tell him thank you for this far 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 thank you for being a benezer thank you for being a benezer your name be glorified your name be magnified masalama you're worthy you're worthy be lord you're worthy son of god you're worthy son of the living god You're worthy the creator of the universe. You're worthy lily of the valley, the rose of Sharon. We worship you and we exalt you. You deserve our praises. We have seen your hand upon our lives, oh God. We have seen your faithfulness. And that is why we lift up our voices to
our praise is worthy of our adoration. The name above every other name is worthy of our glory. we give you praise we lift up your name high above every other name because it is the only name that deserves to be exalted we thank you and we bless you and we honor you in jesus name we lift up our voice and say amen 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 turn to your neighbor and tell them it is only the name of the lord that deserves to be lifted high it is only the name of the lord only the name of the Lord. No other name. Amen. No other name. Makofi kwa Yesu.
Mpatie bwana makofi ya sifa Nasema mpatie bwana Yesu makofi ya sifa Bado Nasema tumpatie bwana Yesu makofi ya sifa Give him praise Worship with him on a crap offering of praise Yes, we are entering into new territories uh, And when we are taking new territories uh, There is celebration uh, Can I hear somebody celebrating uh, That I am entering uh, Into new territories uh, in the name of Jesus, we give you praise to God. Amen. Salimia watu awiri watatu ambie, I'm entering in new territories in Jesus' name. Kama huyo hana imani, ambia muingine, na ingia katika maeneo mapia, na kuyamiliki, ambayo sijawai kuyamiliki in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Naweza ukachini, thank you, worship team. Na wakaribisha wote walio hapa. Na wale wanao tusikiza, Heaven's Gate, kwa Mita Ndao, Radio TV, Mahali Popote Ulipo, hapa ni Kingdom Seekers Fellowship na Kuru. Tuko katika prayer festival and word festival week. Ambayo ni ya mwezi wa March. And our theme this week is contending for territorial Dominion. Naamini ya kwamba kuanzia Monday mpaka sasa kuna mambo kadhaa umejifundisha yanayoweza kukusaidia kumiliki maeneo mapya katika maisha yako. Uh, lunch wa siku ya leo kama vile ni sema leo na kesho tutaanza ku na territories na kwa hivyo siku ya leo nataka kuongea juu ya understanding territorial dominion. Lazima tuelewe what is this territorial dominion tunaongea juu yake. So I want to bring some light through the word of God. Because the Bible says the entrance to your word bringeth the light and understanding the simple. The psalmist say that the word is a lamp to my feet. Praise the name of the living God. So tunapo ingia katika neno. Neno ra mungu linaanza kutupatia nuru. Ya kuelewa hizi territories zinamanisha nini na zinachukuliwa na mnagani. Na ningependa kuanza kwa kusema ya kwamba our God uh, is a territorial God. Praise the name of the living God. Our God is a God who deals with territories. Different territories. Territory may be physical. That means they are geographical locations. And also territories can also be different areas of life. Different areas of occupation. Different areas of the mountains of influence. They are territories. Praise the name of the living God. Some of you, by the, the end of this week, you'll be able to know that even being in a certain trade, being in a certain business, it is a territory. Praise the name of the living God. Na shukuru kwa sababu tumekua tukiongea juu ya mambo ya priesthood ambayo inatupatia kingship. Siju ni wangapi wanaeza kumbuka Bila hata kutaja majina Mfanyi biashara moja mkubwa Ambaye anadil na biashara kubwa kubwa Hapa Kenya Na alikuwa anafanywa interview Na wakatika interview yake akasema Mimi sio mtu mfanyi biashara Mimi ni kuhani Wangapu wanadisikia yu maneno Ya kuna mikono michache Praise the name of the living God Hallelujah Na amemiliki maeneo tofauti ya biashara Lakini akasema mimi sio tu mfanyi biashara. Mimi ni kuhani. Wewe tu ni mfanyi biashara ambaye haelewi ukuhani. Kwa sababu hakuna kuhani ambaye hana madhabahu. Ha? Na ukuhani wako ndio unakupatia uwezo wa kumiliki. Ha? Wewe uko hapo tu na ushuhuda na kusema tu mimi ni Mkristo. Lakini haujui ya kwamba Mungu ametuita tuwe ufalme wa makuhani. Na ukuhani wako Dio unakupatia nguvu Na uwezo wa kumiliki Kama ukuhani wako Ninashanga mtu kama huyo Kwa nini yaende public Aseme tu mimi siyo mfanyi biashara Mimi ni kuhani Ni kwa sababu anajua 
yeye kumiliki katika hilo eneo la biashara inategemea ukuhani wake praise the name of the living god na ukuhani wake ndio unaambatia uwezo wa kumiliki ndipo sasa ulikuwa unaona watu kama Abrahamu Mungu akimwambia nimekupatia eneo fulani anainua madhabahu pale anaanza ku exercise ukuhani wake katika hiyo territory ambayo Mungu anampatia okay wacha tuangalie kwanza katika biblia ya kwamba our god is a territorial god let's read from the bible in the book of Joshua chapter 1 from verse 4 we are going to read a few verses there Joshua chapter 1 from verse 4 inasema your territory will extend from the desert to Lebanon this word is very common when especially god was speaking to the children of israel and the nation of israel concerning the allotment of the land and their portion that word territory you are going to find it in the bible many times you are territory and i believe from today when you are reading the bible may this word become a, a lema word that gives you direction on how to capture territories your territory will extend from the desert to lebanon and from the great liba the euphrates all the hittite country to the great sea on the west no one will be able to stand up against you all the days of your life as i was with moses i'll be with you i'll never leave you nor forsake you be strong and courageous because you lead these people to inherit the land i swore to their forefathers to give them Mungu anamwambia Joshua territory ambayo ninayo wapatia itashika maeneo haya yote lakini Mungu anaendelea kumwambia Joshua mambo ya kuchukua territory sio mambo ya rahisi because territories are occupied so you must be strong and you must be courageous praise the name of the living god hallelujah Territories are not taken by weak people. Territories are taken by people who are intentional and they are ready to engage in spiritual warfare. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Are you ready to engage in spiritual warfare in the mighty name of Jesus uh, to be able to take your territory? There are so many scriptures maybe I can give you a few in the book of Joshua chapter 17 and verse 1. We see about territory this was the allotment of this was the allotment for the tribe of Manasseh as Joseph firstborn that is Makil's Manasseh's firstborn Makil was the ancestor of the Gileadites who had received Gilead and Bashan because um, the Makilites were great soldiers praise the name of the living God hallelujah so verse the bible continues to say So this allotment was for the less of the people of Manasseh the clans of Abieza, Helek, Asriel, Shechem, Aha, uh-huh, Hepha and Shemida. These are the other male descendants of Manasseh, some of Joseph, son of Joseph by their clans. Praise the name of the living God. Sasa hapa Biblia inasema kwamba this is the allotment or this is a territory. Praise the name of the living God that was given wakati Mungu alipogawa maeneo Israeli ambayo walikuwa wamiliki kila kabila liliweza kupatiwa eneo lake liliweza kupatiwa territory ambayo wataingia na wakaweze kumiliki na wote lazima wangekuwa na utayari wa kupigana vita lazima wangekuwa kama askari wengine pia waliweza kusaidiwa na ndugu zao baada ya dugu zao kumiliki wakaweza kuwasaidia na ndipo saa asubuhi Mungu alikuwa anazungumza juu ya ubinafsi wakati Mungu anakusaidia kumiliki anakusaidia uwe msaada hata kusaidia wengine wakawe na uwezo wa kumiliki praise the name of the living god may you receive the grace to take your territory this week in the mighty name of jesus in the book of joshua chapter 24 14 and verse 11 we can take verse 14 and uh, Uh, 11 now fear the lord and serve him with uh, all faithfulness throw away the god your forefathers worshiped ah uh, beyond 
Is that 24? Give us 24 from, uh, let's jump to verse 28 because of time. Yeah. The Bible says, Then Joshua sent uh, the people away, each to his own inheritance. That is a summary of that portion of scripture that Joshua sent the people away each of them to their own inheritance. It's the same word, inheritance, is the same word used for territory. Your inheritance is in your territory. Once you possess your territory, you are also possessing the inheritance that God has given you. Maybe you can give us a version that gives us Joshua 24, 28, uh, uh, that word inheritance. Uh, it's also a synonym of the word territory. Praise the name of the living God. Yakomba Joshua aliwatuma watuote kila mtu to his own inheritance. Baada ya wiki hii, I am sending each one of you to your own inheritance. Hey, nasema kesho katika mkesha, ambao tuna launcha, we are launching a kesha ya royal priesthood dominion kesha. Na hizi kesha tuazifanya mwaka mzima, na kila mtu waweende ya miriki ulithi wake. Unajua maombi ya usiku ya maombi ambao ni ya tofauti, Watu wengine hawajui kuomba usiku. Lakini wakati mungu waripo nituma katika umuji. One of the things that linyerekeza ni kuanza maombi ya usiku. Wakati watu wanarara. Ha, huo ndio wakati gatekeepers na watchmen. Hao ndio huo anafanya kazi wakati huo. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Huo ndio wakati wakupigania na kumiliki maeneo. Enda umiliki teritole yako. Enda umiliki ulithi wako katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Praise the name of the living God. Kira mtu razima aerewe teritole ambayo mungu amempatia. Hata wakati ni nampo ubiri. Bibi ni juu ya Yesu Kristo in the book of Luke chapter 4 and verse 43. Ya kwamba wakati Yesu alipokuwa anahubiri. Alisema, but he said, I must preach the good news to the, of the kingdom of God to the other towns or cities also. Because that is why I was sent. Yesu walisema ya kwamba, siwezi kukaa tuhiri eneo moja. Razima niende katika miji mingine. Kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo sababu ambayo ilifanya nikaweze kutumwa. Wapendwa, ni bizuri kujua territory ambao mungu wamekupatia. Usije ukakaa mahali pamoja. Na mungu wamekupatia teritole zingine. Yesu wakasema, I must go to other towns. I must go to other cities. I must go to other nations. Because that is why I was sent. That is my portion. That is my territory. Praise the name of the living God. You must pray like Jabez. When Jabez prayed in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 4. Uh, verse 9, verse 10. Utaona ya kwamba, one of the things that Jabez prayed, uh, he told God, uh, let's go to verse 10. The Bible says that Jabez was more honorable. We read that portion. The Bible says, uh, Jabez cried out to the God of Israel, all oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Territories can be enlarged. You may be in a humble beginning, but God can continue to enlarge your territory. But we saw that Jabez was more honorable. But he refused to be honorable with a small territory. And he cried to God. He activated his priesthood ministry of prayer. And he told God, enlarge my territory. This is not enough for me. This is not all that you have for me in this life. Enlarge my territory. May you receive the grace of, of territorial enlargement in the mighty name of Jesus. May somebody cry like Jabez. Now say me akwamba. I refuse to be honorable at this level. You know you can be honorable na kanisa rawatu miyatatu. Lakini mungu alikuwa, wakati likuwa pale grey house, kuna kanisa lilikuwa hapo ngambo yetu. Na lilikuwa na watu kiasi. Na likuwa nasema, oi mungu, nikiona umenipatia kanisa kama lile liko na watu miatatu. Nita kushukuru. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini nataka kuambia, unaweza fika kateri tolefulani uwe honorable. Ha? Kwa sababu kuna watu miatatu. Na ile sadaka unachukua inasomesha watoto na uko na kagali. 
unatosheka kuwa honorable hicho kiwango unaweza kuwa na biashara kiasi fulani unaweza kuwa muombezi kiwango fulani unaweza kuwa muhubiri kiwango fulani lakini kataa kuwa honorable katika viwango vya chini jabezi alisema ya kwamba i refuse to be honorable at this level and he cried unto the lord he activated his priesthood ministry and the bible says and god granted his request it was not just his request that was granted praise the name of the living god it is because he had a strategy to acquire the territory praise the name of the living god because one of the greatest strategy of taking territories is through your priesthood ministry of prayer and intercession that is why people like daniel Uh, in the book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 13, you can see that people like Daniel, they were able to en engage territories. Uh, the, but, but, but the prince of Persian kingdom resisted me 21 days. The, then Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me because I was detained there with the king of Persia. We know this uh, story of Daniel when he was praying for 21 days. And the Bible says uh, when Angel Gabriel was coming to bring, bring the message to Daniel, the Bible says uh, the prince uh, of the Persian kingdom resisted me for 21 days. That was a territorial power. This is not the physical uh, 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 person who was ruling over that territory. Praise the name of the living God. This was a principality that was ruling uh, over that territory. Praise the name of the living God. The Bible says in the book of Matthew, chapter 12, uh, and verse 29. These are the words uh, of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the Bible says, all again, uh, how can anyone enter a strong man's house and carry out his possession unless uh, he first ties uh, up the strong man? Then he can lob his house. Can you give us this, this, the, the same scripture in the message Bible? The Bible says, how can you enter into, into a strong man's house? How in the world do you think it is, it's possible in broad daylight to enter uh, the house of an awake, able-bodied man and walk off with his possessions unless you tie him up first. Tie him up, though, though, to tie him up though, and you can clean him out. Huyu ni Yesu ambaye anasema ya kwamba, ukitaka kuingia nyumba, ukitaka kuingia territory ya mtu, ha? lazima kwanza umfunge. Lazima kwanza ujue nani ya meshika territory hii, na umfunge, diyo uchukue mali yake. Kuna mtu mtumishi wa mungu ambaye anaitua Peter Wagner, hameandika vitabu uh, juu ya territorial spirits. Na he gives an example of a missionary. Ali enda kuhubiri, I think it was uh, ni upande wa Brazil. But it was in a border town. Na wakati ya likuwa na hubiri pale, akaona kitu strange. Because you know in border town, sometimes the town is in this side, and the, town, the other part of the town is in this side. Na wakati ya lipo kuwa na hubiri, akaona one side of the street ambayo yuko upande moja, kuhubiria watu ni rahisi sana na watu hata wanamkubali Yesu lakini uki, ku, ukienda upande ule mwingine there is a lot of resistance and it's a walking distance akakutana mwanamke mmoja akampatia fraya yule mwanamke akamwangalia vibaya na akamrushia mikono lakini akizunguka akakutana ule mwanamke pande ile nyingine akampatia ile fraya na akaichukua na smile bwana asifiwe sana ni kwa sababu gani Ni kwa sababu in one territory, the forces that resist the gospel has been weakened. Guvu zile ambazo zinazuiria injiri, na watu wapoke injiri, eneo moja zimedhofishwa. Lakini eneo nyingine, guvu zile ambazo uwa zinazuiria injiri, hazija dhofishwa. Na kwa hivyo, resistance ya injiri, praise the name of the living God, inakuwa juu wapendwa lazima tu the all the territorial powers hata kama ni kwenu na unajua kwetu kufanya ndoa inakuanga it's like life and death praise the name of the living god unajua kwetu kujenga nyumba mtu karibu akufa ikiwa renter 
Lazima ujue nguvu zile zinafanya kazi katika territory ambayo umetoka, ambayo Mungu amekupatia na uziambie hauna uwezo wa kunizuilia. Jana nilikuwa naomba na mtumishi mmoja wa Mungu ambaye amekuwa akinitafuta tuombe kwa sababu Mungu amewazungumzia kwa muda wa zaidi ya mwaka mmoja wafanye mkutano katika eneo lile uh, Mungu amewaita. And something that God has been pushing them. And one of the things is because God has been showing them the powers. Yeah? And one of the things they mentioned to me while niambia apostle hili eneo letu doa hazisimami kama kuna mapigo ni mapigo ya jamii lazima uelewe ni maroho gani kuna mahali unaweza enda doa yako ivunjike praise the name of the living god kwa sababu ya the territorial spirit zinazofanya kazi pale zina challenge ndoa watoto wanabadilika mume anabadilika praise the name of the living god na mungu amekuwa akiwapatia huo mzigo wa kufanya ule mkutano wapendwa our god is a territorial god wakati hata wewe kama mtumishi wa Mungu Mungu amekuweka katika eneo fulani Mungu anataka you occupy that territory until he comes he want you to subdue the powers of darkness that are controlling the people the land and the resources in that territory praise the name of the living god Joshua hangeweza kugawa the inheritance to the children of Israel until he subdues the territory Lazima to take territories for Jesus uh, ili watu wa Mungu waweze kuchukua ulivi. That is why in Africa unakuta Africa ndio the richest continent in the world. Lakini mali yetu inakuliwa na wengine. Sisi kazi yetu ni kukaa katika hali ya umasikini na uchochole. Praise the name of the living God. Haleluya. Inachukuliwa na mataifa ya kigeni na ile inabaki ndugu zetu na dada zetu walio na nguvu especially ya kisiasa wanafagia sahani yote bwana apewe sifa haleluya ukisoma katika kitabu cha isaia bibida sema ya kwamba mungu atazi hukumu nguvu zinazo tawara kule juu na wafalme wanao tawara hapa duniani there are men who cooperate with the territorial spirit praise the name of the living god haleluya na ukiomba sana wanaanguka Ukiomba sana wanadhoofika. Wengine ukiomba sana wanajua. Kutoka kwa madhabahu yao. Wanajua ni wewe unawadhoofisha. Na ndiposa nimesema ya kwamba territories zinataka watu ambao wako na nguvu na wako tayari kupigana vita. Kwa sababu territories zimekaliwa na wakati unaenda kuchukua territory utapatana na upinzani. Hata tulipokuja hapa na kuru tumepigana vita mingi. Tumekuwa na upinzani mkali lakini Mungu hajakosa kutupatia ushindi na tutaendelea kupigana kwa ajili ya mji huu kwa ajili ya kaunti hii kwa ajili ya taifa hili hata kwa ajili ya mataifa ambayo Mungu anatutuma tutasema kama Yesu lazima twende katika miji mingine lazima twende katika mataifa mengine kwa sababu hii ndio ilifanya tukaweze kuitwa Bwana apewe sifa. Haleluya. Sasa mtumishi kama huyo, ha? na hafanyi ule mkutano na kanisa lake. Mungu alimwambia unganisha ha? makanisa yale mengine. Ndipo sasa nisema sometimes you are, you are the altar of your heart may not be strong enough to fight some battles. Sometimes the family altar may not be strong enough to fight some battles. Sometimes the local church altar may not be strong enough to fight some battles. Sometimes God calls people to unite. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Because one can chase a thousand, but two can chase ten thousand. Praise the name of the living God. Ili katika ile hali ya kuungana, wanatoa dhabihu, wanaunganisha neema walizo nazo. Praise the name of the living God. Wanajengea Mungu madhabahu ya kitaifa. Mwaka huu tutakuwa na mkutano hapa na kuru tukiwa na sherehe za kusherekea miaka kumi ya the National Prayer Committee kwa sababu kwa neema ya Bwana tumekuwa tukifanya kazi pamoja especially in the National Prayer Committee kwa miaka kumi iliyoisha. Ninajua tulianza kuombea taifa kitambo but the current committee we have been working together for the last 10 years. Praise the name of the living God. Sometimes God calls you and he unites you with like-minded men and women of God that you can be able to raise an altar 
for the nation, to be able to fight uh, for the nation, for the territory. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, na, and you must be intentional. Huh? Nani ya takuambia siyo rahisi wakati umekua tukifanya peace prayer caravan? Huh? Tunaenda mulimani kwanza siku saba munaomba, diyo muondoke. Na hata baada hizo siku saba, unasikia the kind of warfare. Huh? Wengine munaenda, munagoncheka jiani. Jina abwana ipewe sifa. Kwa sababu ni vita munaenda kupigana, mukichukua territory. Na kuna maroha ya naerewa. Praise the name of the living God. Kuingine unaenda unapata physical manifestation. Ya zile vita ambazo muna pigana mukichukua territory. Lakini ya wezi kurudi nyuma. Lazima uendere kupigana. Kwa sababu unajua alie ndani yako. Yeye ni mkuu kuliko alie ndani ya ulimwengu. Receive the grace for territorial dominion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lazima ujue umetoka wapi. Lazima ujue unaishi wapi. Lazima ujue maeneo ambayo. Bayo, mungu amekupatia katika jina la Yesu Kristo na uende uweze kuyamiliki in the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 1. The Bible says in Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 1, Mungu ananena anasema ya kwamba, Be careful to follow every command I am giving you today, so that you may live and increase and may enter and possess the land that the Lord promised on all to your fathers. Look at that. Be careful to follow every command I'm giving you today. We take territories through divine instruction. Praise the name of the living God. Vita ya territories yo vita ya kiududo. Bwana asfe sana. Ati unarusha gumi unarusha teke ire tu itapata adu ya pana. Razima ujipange. Mungu anasema, be careful to follow every command I am giving you today so that you may live and increase and, and may enter and possess the land that the Lord promised on order to your fathers. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Then verse 2, remember how the Lord your God led you all the way in the desert these 40 days to humble you and to test you in order to know what was in your heart, whether or not you'd keep his commands. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Mutu ambaye anataka kuchukua territory, lazima awe a man, a woman under instruction. Psalms 32 verse 8 and verse 9. Inasema namna gani? Psalms 32 verse 8 and 9. Inasema, I will instruct you and teach you the way you should go. I will counsel you and watch over you. But the verse 9, the Bible says, Do not be like the horse or the mule, which have no understanding, but must be controlled by the bait and bridle, or they will not come to you. Praise the name of the living God. So I'm going to say, I will instruct you. I will teach you in the way you should go. And my eyes are going to watch over you. Praise the name of the living God. Uh, territories in Achukuriwa na watu ambao wakotiari kupokea divine instruction. Nimetoa testimony mara nyingi kutoka wakati mungu wa nintuma katika muji huu. Vili alivyo nerekeza. Paka mahali utafungua kanisa. Ha? Paka the exact location. Mungu anakuambia wacha kutumia hii strategy. Tumia hii strategy. Wacha kufanya hivi, fanya hivi. Praise the name of the living God. Territories in Ataka Watu Ambao, they are ready to receive a divine instruction. And that is one of the reasons many people cannot be able to possess territories. Because they are not ready for divine instruction. They are not ready to be instructed by their commander. Because we have our commander, we are not working alone. Hallelujah. And taking territories is a battle. Huh? Razima uwe ni mtu ambaye akotiari kupata instruction. Even taking that neighborhood for Jesus. Mungu anaweza kukuerekeza. Kupitia roho wake. Vile ambavyo utakavyo fanya. Vile utakavyo funga. Vile utakavyo omba. Thabi utakayo toa. Vile utakavyo approach the strategy. Ya kuingia katika eneo lile, paka lile eneo, likaweze kukomborewa, likaweze kufunguliwa na mapenzi ya buwana, ya kaweze kufanyika. Buwana asifuwe sana. Wakati tulianza imambo ya peace prayer caravan, siyo kitu tulikuwa tumiona mahali pengine inafanywa. Siyo kitu imeandikwa katika biblia. 
nikusikiza tu na Mungu anakuambia this is a strategy enda ingizeni miguu yenu katika kaunti zote tulianza na God bless Kenya dedicating all the 47 counties praise the name of the living God ha ah. 2022 wakati tulienda tulikuwa tunataka kwenda the uh, the regional one Mungu akaniambia msifanye hivyo lazima muende county zote 47 lazima mchukue jambo hili na uzito msione kama ile vita iko mbele yenu ni rahisi mtu ambaye anachukua territories lazima awe ni mtu ambaye ako tayari kupokea divine instruction katika hiyo biashara Mungu anafanya una, Razima ujue kwamba kuna wengine wamemiliki. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini ndio uingie pale na upenye na uchukue sehemu yako. Ama uwe a principality katika hiyo eneo. Razima we ni mtu ambaye anafuata instruction, anakubali aelekezwe na Mungu vile atakavyofanya. Jina la Bwana nipewe sifa. That is why sometimes you have to wait. Because waiting is also part of God's program. Kuna wakati unakatu na ufanyi chochote ama uchukui hatua. Kwa sababu, hata wanawa Israeli, wakati wingu lilikuwa linasimama, hawakuwa wanaenda. Hata kama wanakona haja sana ya kwenda. Wanasimama. Ni mpaka wakati mungu angesema sasa, fungeni viravo vienu and break the camp. Kwa sababu wakati wa kuondoka umefika, wakati wa kuondoka ukifika, wanaanza kwenda. So there are times that you just, you are just there, you are waiting, and waiting it parts of God's program. Watu neza kuambia, kwa nini ya ufanyi kitu, kwa nini ya uchukui atua, kwa nini ya uwezi panuwa hii biyashara, kwa nini ya uwezi yenda katika muji mwingine ufanyi biyashara, ama ufungue blanch. Kuna wakati wakuwa na blanch moja, lakini kuna wakati wakuenda katika miji mingine. Na wakati wakwenda miji mingine ukifika, utapatiwa instruction, anza kwenda miji mingine. Praise the name of the living God. Hallelujah. Kuna wakati wakujenga huduma kama hii, na uondoki kwenda mbali. Ha? There are times nilika hapa, ata nikipatiwa mialiko ya kwenda inje. Uliza ndugu zetu walio UK, wamenialika for the last 10 years. It is until last year. The first invitation I received, it was 10 years ago. Praise the name of the living God. But it is until last year, nilienda. Kwa sababu lazima uwerewe wakati wakuondoka. Hauondoki tu kwa sababu kona pesa za kwenda. Haufungui branch ingine kwa sababu tu kona na uwezo. You can, be, you can be flourishing in one branch. But the second one, iangushe the first one. Kwa sababu haukuwa na instruction. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini kama utaendelea kupanuka, lazima ufuate instruction. Praise the name of the living God. Kuna wakati wakuka in the local church na kupepetea moto, paka moto uwake. Kwa sababu kuna wakati uneza toa moto, hata moto uzimike. Zamani nikuwa ninaona majirani wanakuja kuomba moto, mama anawambia mukaya hapo chini kwanza. Hii moto mukitoa itazimika hapa na hatuna kibeliti. Bwana aswe sana. Wanangojia moto inawaka, moto inawaka, wanambiwa sasa toa. Na wakitoa, inawaka zaidi. Bwana asifue sana. Inaitua timing. Praise the name of the living God. Ya kujua ya kwamba huu moto sasa, umetosha, wakutolewa, na kuenda kuwakisha kuingine. Praise the name of the living God. Lakini kuna wakati uneza toa moto. Ilio idhate. Huduma inadhata. Because ulikana bag mission, 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 mission. Mission ni na kanisa hata ijashika. Ha? Watu wananza kutafuta pasa, wananza kutafuta pasa, wanasema pasa tumuone. Ha? Lakini kuna mahali huduma inafika. Watu wako pare wameshikwa na mungu siyo wewe umewashika sasa. Praise the name of the living God. Na pia mungu wameinua watu wengine. Hata wakati hauko, hakuna pengo. Praise the name of the living God. Razima uwerewe. The Bible says, I will instruct you. I will teach you the way you should go. And my eyes will watch over you. Praise the name of the living God. Razima ungoje. Sio kuenda mission miezi tatu. Alafu kikuja kanisa unasema ati nilikuta wa megawanya kanisa. Shauli yako. Niwea ulitoka. Na kwanza ukaeni kukauko. Ha ha ha. 
Inaacha tu achane na hiyo maneno ni siwe kuna mtu ninaingilia. But these things happen in Malaysia. So ninawatahadharisha ndio zikikuja Kenya Bwana asifue sana muwe tiari. Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Kuna watu huondoka kabra ya wakati wa kuondoka. Lakini wapendwa kuchukua territories kunahitaji a lot of what I've discovered it requires a lot of instruction. And our God is a God instructor. And he says my sheep heareth my voice. Ha? Huh? Hata ukiwa mfanyi biashara kuna wakati ya ufai kujenga nyumba yako. The Bible says do your outdoor work first and then you build your house. Hauchukui capital yote unaenda kujenga nyumba hapo ya milioni 12 alafu hamuna chakula. Sasa hii nyumba kubwa na haina chakula ni nyumba gani? Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Uko na master bedroom ambayo haina maji. Tunakuta na karai hapo kigiza maji kwa master bedroom. Sasa hii ni nyumba gani master bedroom haina hata Jina bwana ipewe sifa. Haleluya. Lazima ujue ya kwamba Mungu anataka akupeleke hatua kwa hatua. Hata wana wa Israeli Mungu aliwaambia Ah, hii inchi ninayowapatia nitawapatia kidogo kidogo Exodus 23 from verse 28 aliwaambia nitawapatia kidogo kidogo praise the name of the living god i'll send uh, the hornet ahead of you to drive the hivites uh, canaanites hitites out of your way and then the bible says uh, but i'll not drive them out uh, drive them out uh, in a single year because the land uh, will become desolate uh, and the wild animals uh, too numerous for you the bible says literal by literal i'll drive them out before you until you have increased uh, enough to take possession of the land hey verse that one i'll establish uh, your borders from the red sea that will be your territory Uh, the sea of the Philistines uh, and from the desert uh, to the river I will hand over to you the people who live in the land because the land is already occupied but I will hand over to you the people who live in the land and you drive uh, them uh, out uh, before you oh my god uh, there are forces we are driving out this week uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, because God has given us a lema word uh, in the year 2024 God is giving us new territories uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, he is going ahead of us uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, some of us have increased. Some of you have grown through these prayer festivals. Uh, you have been growing. Uh, you have grown fat uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, the yoke must be broken. Uh, the limitation must be broken you must go for new territories in the mighty name of Jesus you must drive out every power every demon that have been occupying your territory yes you have increased enough you have grown enough you can bind the strong man and tell him rules my territory in the mighty name of Jesus receive a militant spirit in the name of Jesus uh, because territories uh, are for warriors uh, are for fighters uh, are for fierce uh, soldiers uh, who are willing uh, to fight uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, yes uh, we are going for new territories uh, new cities uh, new nations uh, where we have never been uh, god is saying uh, this is a season uh, This is a time uh, I receive uh, divine instruction uh, for this is a time uh, of my visitation uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes. Shatara baganda bashanda baganda riba. Somebody receive grace uh, where you have lost battles in the past. Uh, don't be satisfied. Uh, don't say there are people who can never get saved in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, declare the word of the Lord. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, reka maganda that they shall be delivered uh, from the hand of the warriors. Uh, reka maganda bashanda. Reka baganda ribahanda bazanda. 
Reka Baganda Bashanda Baganda. Are you ready for new territories? I hear the Spirit saying, Shatara Baganda. There are people I have been preparing. Shatara Baganda. I hear the Spirit saying, There are people who have known to receive divine instruction. And this is their time. Reka Baganda Bashanda Baganda. That they may go and take new territories in business. Reka Baganda in ministry. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Ribahandaba. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Ribahanda. Reka Baganda Ribazeria. Are you ready for new territories? I hear the Spirit saying, There are people I have been preparing. Reba Shanda Baganda Bazanda. They have my word. They have my spirit. Reka Maganda Bashanda. I am going ahead of them. I am going to make a way for them. Reka Maganda. I am going to uphold them with my righteous right hand. Reka Maganda Bashanda. There are people that God has already shown you. Reka Maganda. Where he is taking you. Reka Maganda. Shatara Maganda. Reka Maganda. Don't uh, Reka Maganda retreat uh, because of the resistance. Uh, Shatara Baganda. Reka Maganda. In the beginning of taking territories, uh, there is a lot of warfare. There is a lot of resistance. Uh, but when you become persistence, uh, persistence uh, wears out resistance. Uh, some of you can already feel the resistance. Uh, Reka Maganda. But you say this is a time uh, and this is a season. Uh, Reka Maganda. That this family must be delivered. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda, that we must know the power of divine wealth. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Rima, Reka Maganda. Some of you God has given you the territory of divine healing. Reka Maganda, Shatara Maganda, over and above instruction. Territories are also taken by faith. Shatara Maganda, and this is what overcoming the world, uh, even our faith. Uh, Shatara Maganda, territorial takers uh, are men and women of faith. Uh, Shatara Maganda Mazanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda. Sometimes you, it may seem uh, as if the territory is very hard uh, and you cannot be able to take over the territory, but you must have faith. Uh, it is a faith. Uh, the God kind of faith, Shatara Maganda, Reka Maganda Bashanda, that you require for new territories. This is a year of building, Reka Maganda. Spiritual builders are rising. Awake, awake, O Zion, and put on your strength, Reka Maganda Mashanda, Reka Maganda Mashanda. The unclean will never come to you again, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Rimahanda, Reka Maganda Mazanda. God is raising men and women, uh, even young people who are going to take the territories uh, of holiness uh, and they are going to live a holy life. Uh, they are going to walk in the fear of God. Uh, Reka Maganda Bashanda. God is calling you into that territory. Reka Maganda Bashanda. I remember when God uh, was calling me into the territory of living a holy life. Uh, Shatara Maganda. I had to covenant with him. Uh, Reka Maganda. And I agree with him uh, that I will live a holy life. Uh, I will live for him. Uh, Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Mazanda. There are territories uh, that requires covenanting with God. Uh, Reka Maganda Mazanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. I remember when God uh, was taking me into the, into the territory of financial breakthrough in ministry. Reka Maganda. I had to covenant with him uh, as a kingdom steward. Uh, Reka Maganda. As a manager in the kingdom. Uh, Reka Maganda. To manage kingdom resources. Uh, Reka Maganda. Territories are taken uh, by divine instruction. Uh, but you must also engage uh, in your faith in God. Uh, Reka Maganda Mashanda. And believe him. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, Reka Maganda Mashanda, 
Reka Maganda Rima, Reka Maganda, Reka Maganda. There are men and women uh, that God is calling into the territory of evangelism uh, with signs and wonders following us. Uh, Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Rima, Reka Maganda Rima, Reka Maganda Rima Handa, Reka Maganda. You may begin with three people, Shatara Maganda, but I can tell you, your territory will extend uh, to the nations. Uh, Reka Maganda. Maganda Mazanda, Reka Maganda Mazanda, my God and my God, raise territorial takers, Reka Maganda Mazanda, men and women full of the graces that are required to take their territories, Yasha Baganama, Reka Maganda Mazanda, Reka Maganda Mazanda. God is raising men and women uh, to take the territory of divine wealth, uh, of covenant wealth, uh, the wealth of the wicked. Uh, the priest evil of darkness uh, is coming down. Uh, the altars uh, that have been controlling uh, the land uh, and the resources, uh, they are coming down. Uh, altars of corruption, uh, they are coming down. Uh, altars of greed, uh, they are coming down. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Rimahanda. Reka Maganda Mazaya. Isaiah 49 and verse 25. Reka Maganda Mazaya. Territorial. Reka Maganda Takers. Even in families. The Bible says this is your word for this season. But this is what the Lord says. Yes! Captives will be taken from warriors. And plunder will be retrieved from the fears. I'll contain with those who contend with you and your children I will save I can tell you as you begin to pray and to intercede God is also sending help angels are coming to serve you because they are ministering spirit to them that inherit salvation they are going to help you to contend with those who contend you in the might with you in the might in the name of Jesus they are going to help you to break every resistance Reka Maganda Messiah where is Jabez? Reka Maganda, Reka Maganda. There are men and women who have refused to be honorable. Reka Maganda, Mazanda. And they are crying to God like Jabez. And they are telling God, Oh God, enlarge my territory, my territory of grace, my territory of revelation. Reka Maganda, Mazia. Reka Maganda, Mazia. Oh God, enlarge my territory. Reka Maganda Masaya, I refuse to be honorable at this level in the mighty name of Jesus because there is still more that is available for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka Maganda Ma, Reka Maganda, even among the youth, even among the young children, God is raising a territorial takers in the mighty name of Jesus. Utaanza kuona watoto wanaoanza kuombea jamii zao. Watoto wanaoanza kuhubiri. Reka maganda. They are territorial takers. Reka maganda mahanda. Reka maganda mahanda. Reka maganda. Kuna roho umemwagwa. Kuna neema imeachiriwa. Ya kwenda kumiliki maeneo mapia. Hey ya ramahanda ma. Ya kwenda kumiliki ulithi. Reka maganda ma. Reka maganda mazia. Reka maganda ma. Lazima kanisa rifike kwa mipaka yake. Kabla Yesu ajarudi. Lazima kanisa risonge. Rifike kwa mipaka yake. Mipaka yake iko wapi? The Bible says uh, the glory of this latter church uh, will be greater than of the former. Reka maganda ma. Utaona karama ambazo hazikuwa na kanisa la kwanza. Utaona uponyaji ya bao kanisa la kwanza halikutembelea. Reka maganda ma. Utaona ufanisi ambao kanisa la kwanza halikuonja. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda rima handa. Reka maganda ma. Reka maganda. I activate your priesthood. Even if you are a businessman. Even if you are a politician. Reka maganda ma. 
God has called you in the mountain of governance. I activate your priesthood. I activate your priesthood. It doesn't matter what you are doing. In this kingdom, we are a kingdom of priests. I activate your priesthood. I activate your prayers. I activate your sacrifices that are acceptable to God. Spiritual sacrifice. I activate your consecration. There are men and women uh, who are going uh, to consecrate themselves uh, in the altar Reka Maganda of dedication, Reka Maganda, and they are going to receive graces and anointings. Reka Maganda Ma, Reka Maganda Mazia, Reka Maganda Mashanda, Reka Maganda Ma, Reka Maganda that they have never imagined. Reka Maganda Ma, in your prayers and fasting, there is an exchange that is going on. Even in these prayer festivals, there is an exchange that has been going on when you have been praying uh, and fasting. Uh, there is an anointing. Uh, there are graces uh, that have been coming upon your life. Uh, Reka Maganda, the graces uh, that are responsible for territorial dominion, uh, for you to take your territory. Reka Maganda Ma, Reka Maganda Mazia, Reka Maganda Ma, Reka Maganda Mazia, Reka Maganda Ma, Reka Maganda Ma, Reka Maganda Mazia. God is raising fears, uh, spiritual soldiers. Uh, askari wa kiroho wa kali. Watamuka usiku na kuomba. Reka maganda. Watakesha na kuchukua maeneo. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda rima. Reka maganda rima. Watamuka na kupigania jamii. Reka maganda rima. Watatetea watoto wao. Hata wale wamekuwa mateka. Neno linasema na watoto wenu nitawakomboa reka maganda ma reka maganda rima reka maganda rima reka maganda ma you must contend for your family for your children for your husband for your wife for your gift for your calling for your mandate reka maganda ma reka maganda mazia reka maganda bahanda reka maganda rima handa Reka baganda mazia, reka baganda mazaya, reka baganda. Our God is a territorial God. But the devil is also a counterfeit devil. He has divided his demons in territories, geographical territories. There are demons that man the gates of different businesses. Ukitaka kuingia kwa hiyo biashara unakutana na upinzani na vita. But those territorial powers they are going to be defeated. I activate your priesthood from where you find strength in the mighty name of Jesus. I activate your priesthood. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. I activate your altar. Reka maganda bashanda. That from your altar, your altar can speak. Your altar can speak. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. Reka maganda. May the blood of Jesus give your altar the, the voice. Reka maganda that you require. Reka maganda mazaya to speak in your territory. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka baganda bazia, reka baganda bashanda, reka baganda bazia, reka baganda mazaya. Mungu anainua wafanyi biashara makuhani. Reka baganda bashanda, reka baganda bashanda, reka maganda bashanda, reka baganda. Mungu anainua wana siasa makuhani. Mungu anainua shatara baganda waimbaji makuhani. Reka baganda wanapo muimbia sio tu sauti wanajua ya kwamba mimi ni kuhani ninatoa adhabu zinazokubarika mbele za Mwenyezi Mungu reka baganda bashanda reka baganda rima handa reka baganda bazaya reka maganda bashanda reka baganda rima handa reka baganda bashanda reka baganda rima handa Reka baganda bashanda, reka baganda rima zeria, 
Reka Baganda Ribashanda. Reka Baganda Rabashanda. Reka Maganda Rimahanda. Na chiri ya neema ya kumiriki maeneo mapia. Na chiri ya neema ya kupanuliwa mipaka. In the mighty name of Jesus. May God enlarge your territory. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Rimahanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda Baganda. Reka Baganda Ribahanda Bazanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Ribazanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Rimazanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Hiro eneo unaro ishi. Inuka kama kuhani. Tetea hiro eneo. Usikubalia ukuhani mwingine. Ukachukua mahali unaishi. Ukachukua mahali unafanya biyashara. Ukachukua mahali iyo ofisi. Unafanyia kazi. Usikubali madhabahu mengine ya kainuliwa. Na ya kaanza kumiriki. Wewe ni kuhani. Na uko na madhabahu. Na uko na uwezo wa kuinua madhabahu. Katika hiyo soko. Katika hiyo ofisi. Na ukatangaza umiriki. Na ukatangaza makusudi ya buwana. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. Reka maganda. Declaring the will of God to be done. Here on earth. As it is in heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda bazaya. Oh my God. As I invite the worship team. Can somebody tell the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of the living God. Take over my altar. Take over my altar. Set my altar on fire. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda rimahanda. Take over my altar. Set my altar on fire. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. Let your voice in my altar. Let your instruction in my altar. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda rimahanda. As the Holy Spirit. Oh my God. Reka maganda mazaya. Reka maganda mazaya. If the Holy Spirit of God lives in you, there must be an altar. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. And the Bible says, uh, let grace increase through knowledge. Uh, oh my God, uh, there is grace that increases uh, when people receive knowledge. Uh, with this knowledge, uh, the Holy Spirit uh, can operate in your life, uh, even in a greater measure, even in a greater way. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ uh, received the Holy Spirit uh, without measure. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda mazanda. Reka maganda mazanda. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. Remember in the book of Ezekiel, the different measures, uh, oh my God, uh, of, the, of water representing the Holy Spirit. Uh, may you receive a new measure of the Holy Spirit uh, at work in your life, uh, at work in your altar. In the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Reka maganda. This is how we fight our battles, uh, even by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, who are you, O oh mountain, uh, before Zerubbabel? Uh, Reka maganda. You shall Shall be removed. Reka maganda. Reka maganda. With shout of grace, grace. Because the spirit of God is the spirit of grace. Reka maganda, mashanda. Reka maganda. Don't see mountains. Invite the Holy Spirit. Usione mirima. Om karibisharom takatifu. Usione mirima. Usione akwamba iwezekani. Mukaribishe. Mukaribisharom takatifu. Mwambie Holy Spirit, set my altar on fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Reka maganda mashanda. Even the fire of prayer. Reka maganda mashanda. Reka maganda rimahanda. Reka maganda mazaya. Oh, may God raise men and women who can pray for one hour. Reka maganda mazanda. Oh, my God, who can pray for two hours. Reka maganda ma, who can pray for three hours. Shatara Baganda, who can pray for six hours? Reka Maganda Mashanda, Reka Maganda Mazanda, Reka Maganda Mazanda. 
Reka Maganda, I raise an altar of prayer in your life. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Mazaya, the altar of prayer in your life to be activated. The altar of prayer, the Bible says men ought always to pray and not to faint. Reka Maganda Bashanda, oh my God, I activate the altar of prayer. Reka Maganda Mashanda in everyone's life who is under my voice. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda. The ability to contend for territories. Reka Maganda Mashanda. The ability to wage warfare for territories. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Mazanda. Reka Maganda. I refuse to be honorable at this level. There is still a higher level. Reka Maganda. There is still more that is available for me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Reba Shanda Baganda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bazia. Oh my God. Tunapo ingia siku ya mwisho siku ya kesho. Tunaendelea kutia madhabahu yetu nguvu. Na tunaanza sasa contending for territories. Tunaanza kupigania maeneo. Reka maganda bashanda. Erewa maeneo mungu wa mekupatia. Reka maganda bashanda. Na uanze kuyapigania. Reka maganda bashanda. Reka maganda. Uanze kumuamba buwana. Nipatie nguvu za kumiriki. Mungu aliwaambia wana wa Israeli nitawapatia haya maeneo kidogo kidogo ili muongezeke kwanza ili muwe na uwezo watu wengi kuna maeneo Mungu anataka atupatie lakini nguvu zetu ni kidogo uwezo wetu ni kidogo lazima tuendelewe kutiwa nguvu lazima tuendelewe kutia madhabahu yetu nguvu reka maganda shatara baganda bazia reka baganda bashanda Reka baganda bashanda reka baganda rimahanda reka baganda bazanda reka baganda bashanda and today in the name of Jesus uh, I release grace upon your life uh, to contend for territories uh, in the mighty name of Jesus uh, even new territories uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, receive the grace uh, to contend uh, for territories, uh, even new territories. Uh, Shatara Baganda, Reka Baganda Bashanda, Reka Baganda Rimazanda, Reka Maganda Mazanda. I bind every strong man, uh, Reka Maganda, resisting you to enter into new territories. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Reka Maganda, and I release grace upon you. In the mighty name of Jesus, move forward now. In the name of Jesus, the crowd is moving. Reka Maganda, this is the time of your visitation. Reka Maganda Bashanda, go and take new territories. In the mighty name of Jesus, even where you are disgraced in the past, even where you are defeated, Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Bazanda, I release grace for the season. Reka Baganda Bashanda for new territories. Release your faith. Receive divine instruction. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Ribazanda. Reka Baganda Bashanda. Reka Baganda Ribazanda. Reka Baganda. Partner with the Holy Spirit. Reka Baganda. He is your helper. He is your paracletos. Your advocate, Reka Maganda Bashanda, he helps you on, on how to pray. Reka Maganda, because you don't know what you ought to pray for. Sometimes you may not know what you are contending with, but the Holy Spirit intercedes with groans that words cannot express. Ah, partner with the Holy Ghost, Reka Maganda Bashanda, make him your friend. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Bashanda. Reka Maganda Mazanda, let him come and set your altar on fire. Reka Maganda Bashanda, Reka Maganda Ribahanda, invite him now. In the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I invite all of you tomorrow for loyal priesthood, dominion, Kesha, that will be launching. Let's prepare for the final day of contending for Telitolio Dominion. Receive divine instruction 
Some of you, this prayer week, you are going to receive divine instruction, divine leading in the mighty name of Jesus. Release your favor in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, declare it is possible for me to take this territory in the mighty name of Jesus uh, because God is giving it unto me in the mighty name of Jesus. more that's for me 
Cause you are my helper, my helper, my helper. You are my helper, my helper, my helper. Jesus, you are my helper. Spirit of the living God, I come to you because I need you. You are my helper and I need you, oh God. My sheep, everything that I desire is in you, oh God.
Without your strength, without your power. 